A family in Bayou George is taking quality time to another level or to new depths. They've worked together to build a real working one man submarine. News 13's Erica Orsted went out to see the sub in person today. She's live in our studios tonight. And Erica, it's hard to imagine taking a homemade submarine into the Gulf. Amy, it is, but not for Bayou George resident Leonard Island. He did build a homemade submarine, not once or twice, but three times. And it's third time's the charm on this one. It works, and he's taken it out to the jetties at the state park about a dozen times. But he says the best part for him is getting his family involved in the fun. You done some painting and fiberglass, mm -hmm. didn't you? Yes. For resident Leonard Island. And you really enjoyed it, didn't you? Yes. And his son, little Leo. And then pal. And it's a family activity that's catching attention. When I go to put it in the water, I had lots of people ask me questions. I like to never get it in the water. A diver himself, Island says he always wanted a submarine, but the price tag was a bit over budget. So he built one, and it's yellow, of course. Beagles come out with a yellow submarine, so I painted it yellow. <laughs> Getting little Leo and his partner Patty Granger involved in the process, painting and sanding the sub. It's been special for my family. Are you ready to go down, diving in? No. <laughs> Both Leo Jr. and Granger have cerebral palsy. Go. She says working on the submarine has been a distraction from doctor's appointments in tough days, but through it all, there's improvement. He's doing real good now. He's walking good. He's talking better. Margaret K. Lewis has done a lot for him. Time with family also bringing out the best in him. It helps in communication, family get-togethers, you know, understanding each other better. All helping Island make his imagination a reality. He's taken the submarine into the water about 12 times. He says it can dive as deep as 30 feet with landing gears and a respirator device inside to walk along the seafloor. Yeah, I've seen sharks and all kinds of fish. You'd be surprised and big groupers and snappers down there. And everything is pretty down there. It's just beautiful down there. Island says the sub is a registered underwater vehicle with plenty of safety features, but he doesn't take it down too far. And Amy, he did seem to know what he was doing. It's not something I could do myself, but definitely some cool experiences he's had with it. And of course, sweet time with family in the process. What a great story. That's pretty cool. All right. Thanks, Erica.